good news for foreign workers. From next month, foreigners can enter Australia to work on farms, but will New South Wales cope? Is New South Wales prepared for those eager to arrive as the federal government says a new visa enabling foreigners to work on Australian farms would be in place by late next month? Important points of today's video update. From late next month, a new visa would be available that will allow immigrants to work on Australian farms. There will be no limitation on the number of foreign workers allowed to enter the nation, and processing the workers will be the duty of each state. However, New South Wales, unlike other states, has no alternative processing mechanism in place other than hotel quarantine. The state already is coping with the largest number of coronavirus cases in its history, as well as breakouts in several rural and regional towns. The hotel quarantine system in New South Wales is still screening Australians arriving from abroad, as well as employees covered by the Pacific Labor Scheme, who are only required to pay half the fee. Furthermore, Agriculture Minister David Littleproud stated that there will be no restriction on the number of foreign employees allowed to enter the nation. It'll be demand-driven, so there are no caps on this," he stated. It'll come down to the bilateral negotiations that will take place now. We're trying to accelerate those agreements with countries that we have long-standing immigration relationships with, such as the Philippines, Thailand, Vietnam. Now let's talk about how long the quarantine will last. Mr. Littleproud stated that it was up to the states to choose how they manage quarantine procedures. The state's premiers and chief ministers all put their hand up and confirmed back in December that they wanted to own and control their own quarantining, to make sure they got it right, Mr. Littleproud said. Several states have been testing new quarantine procedures and facilities to prepare for an influx of more people. In Queensland, they have done on-farm quarantining. In Victoria, they got Tasmania to quarantine for them. In South Australia, they created their own facility to bring in 1,200 workers, he stated. Also, this month will be trialing in-country quarantining in Vanuatu. There has been no indication on whether New South Wales is implementing new quarantine facilities or techniques. State Agriculture Minister Adam Marshall earlier stated that the government was dedicated to supporting employees' quarantine costs. Approximately 2,000 workers already have been processed under the plan, with a total cost of $3 million, and another $6 million is allocated to continue. There is also worry that under this new arrangement, Australians who wish to return home would be replaced by foreign employees. That would not happen, Mr. Littleproud said. They aren't getting priority over returning citizens. They will be coming in the same way as our Pacific Scheme workers have been, in an addition to the caps, he added. Our video ends here. If you found this video update useful, then please comment below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest Australian immigration updates. Thanks for watching today's video.